Hi there. Welcome to FreezerWorks 2017. After logging in, the first thing you may notice is that many of your menu options have changed locations. These changes were made with customer input to better match your normal workflows and reduce clutter. For example, a number of system configuration tasks have been consolidated into small menu-like forms, such as the configuration, data entry, and display menu. From this menu, you have easy access to the configuration for fields, entry forms, list view formats, reports, etc. all at once. Closing out of one of these configuration modules will simply return you to the data entry and display menu. For a complete breakdown of menu option changes, see our user manual's What's New topic. Speaking of things moving around, you will also find that permissions are no longer configured at the user level. Instead, you will assign each user a role, which is a package of permissions that you can assign to as many users as you want. We provide two roles for you, System Administrator and Accessioning and Inventory. If you upgraded your version of FreezerWorks, each discrete set of permissions you configured for your users in previous versions will be fashioned into an assigned role in 2017. These will be labeled Role 1, Role 2, Role 3, and so on, but you can rename them if you like. Watch our Roles video for more information about this new module. Since permissions have been consolidated into roles, we have also given each user quick and easy access to the personal experience of the program through preferences. Open My Settings, My Preferences. On this first page, you can view the configuration of your user profile, but edit only your password. You are not allowed to change your assigned role on this screen, but if you have been assigned multiple roles, you can change which one you're currently using with the Select Role drop-down. On the Preferences page, however, you have access to each drop-down on the page. A new preference worth noting is records to display at login. Since the landing page opens each time you log in, we now allow you to pick an advanced search to immediately run at this point so you can quickly view desired inventory and begin working. Speaking of searches, Advanced Search has also received a large overhaul, operating much more like other advanced search tools you may already be familiar with. Along with the updated UI, new search operators have been added to date fields, such as is xx days ago, is xx days from now, etc. You can also now assign exports and or reports to an advanced search, which will run or print each time the search is executed. Finally, since we added email capabilities to FreezeWorks 2017, if you are scheduling your searches, you can add emails to them so that users and external contacts can be alerted and sent pertinent information whenever these are run. For more information, watch our advanced search video. Two of the largest new features in FreezeWorks 2017 are the Workflows and Requisitions modules. Checkout, Check-in, and Shipping tasks are now controlled by Workflows. You will create templates that standardize these processes, reduce opportunities for user error, and increase the quality of work done in FreezerWorks. For more info, watch our Workflows series of videos. The new Requisitions module works in conjunction with workflows, where internal users or external contacts make requests for certain aliquots to be checked out or shipped to them. After a request is made, it can be edited, then it will be approved or rejected, and finally it will be fulfilled, and at this step a workflow will be processed. Both workflows and requisitions can be combined with our new email tool. You can send emails whenever a workflow is processed, and you can have emails sent at each step of the requisition process. You'll set up email in System Properties on the email page. We hope that you find these changes and additions amplify your experience of FreezerWorks. Please be sure to watch our other videos if you'd like greater detail on any of the topics we've covered today. 
Well, with that, thank you for watching this introductory video to FreezeWorks 2017. We hope to see you next time.